Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mac, and today we're going to talk about how close to disaster did Peko Benyaya come in the accident in the Circuit de Catalunya race during this year. Now, if I'm very honest, the second half of the season after this crash, Peko Benyaya didn't seem to be the same animal as he was before the crash. Now, Jorge Martin was starting to come on strong, but Peko still had a very, very comfortable lead at that stage. Now, when we look at the crash, and it was only while I was going through some photographs quite recently that I found one of the kind of most scary photographs and also kind of some insight into how Peko did not actually break anything during this incident. But it is every motorbike racers or motorbike fans worst nightmare to see a rider being flicked off the bike into oncoming traffic and especially with the legs dangling and as you can see Brad Binder had absolutely no place at all to go and I will openly admit as soon as I saw Brad rolling over Peko's legs I thought that's it that is the end of Peko's championship there has to be fractures above and below or within the legs you know, for me, it was a real Ian Hutchinson moment. You know, was he going to be in a you know, in a cage for a couple of months or a year or whatever? Will he ever ride properly again, etc.? And, you know, when you could see him on the, the ground again, you could kind of see the leg wasn't straight. And you're like, oh, oh, no, here it is. But I did find this photograph and I didn't actually share this around uh, in one of the videos. But here you'll see where Brad actually hit Peko. And luckily enough for Peko, Brad actually hit him in the point of his knee puck. And that's where he rolled over with the front tyre and the main part of the rear tyre. Now, don't get me wrong, I can guarantee you it still hurt Peko. But because of such armour in that area, with the, the puck, with the knee armour, my belief is, is that this is what exactly saved Peko leg and if we can look at it like now Peko's championship okay Peko wasn't the same beast after the crash for a lot of races didn't seem to trust the bike was very nervous of the rear of the bike uh, especially within braking and I think he had to come through a psychological game but I was just not sure if people actually understood how Peko didn't actually break anything and here in the picture that I showed it shows exactly Brad running over the knee puck. Don't get me wrong, as I said, no doubt that that was still hurt and painful, but I think the crash got into Peko's head afterwards and it took a long time for Peko to start trusting the Ducati again. But I'd definitely love to know your thoughts. What do you think of the images of Binder running over the knee puck? Luckily, if you look at it, an inch either way and it could have been serious damage for Peko. But I'd definitely love to know your thoughts. What do you think of it? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.